Good morning, everybody. Welcome along to the vlog. That is hard wearing municipal grass, and it is growing now in the back garden. Hopefully, we'll have a lawn come the end of April. Anyway, cheeky little boys, Chance and Reggie are out here having a quick game of football before I go to work. Isn't that right, Reg? But I have come down the garden this morning to check on not the big chicks, but the little chicks. And you see them through there in the second pen. There they are. And they've been living out here for three days now. The Rhode Island Reds. And they're doing quite well. They're resilient little buggers and uh, they smell so they've had to come out here maybe a little bit earlier than i would have anticipated originally you are noisy aren't you noisy little creatures have you given us a gift this morning oh look at that beautiful oh we've disturbed old henrietta there i do apologize madam i'll let you continue to lay your egg oh. right well We'll leave those lovely ladies to it. We'll take these little beauties. Come on, Reg. And uh, just pop this gate on without dropping the eggs. And we'll go to work. So I've decided we had all these little bantam eggs because uh, Lady Muck down there started laying again. And I thought it would be a good idea to boil them up. They don't really fit on onto the egg. Uh, helter Skelter. So we boiled up these four little bantam eggs and then I've got one of each of the other eggs. Little tip if you're boiling eggs, don't use your freshest eggs for boiling, use your oldest ones because the fresh eggs tend to be very difficult to peel. They stick to the shell which is a pain in the bum. Anyway I'm going to put these in my pocket to keep my hands warm and uh, go to work. Back on the roof again today, a little bit more work, mainly getting the screws in and the lining up now, look, I found my purlins. One thing that really does my head in though, and that is sometimes, very occasionally, you'll put a screw through and you'll hit the old screw underneath, you see in there? So I've had to move upwards, so I'm going to have to come in and we're going to have to seal this section up. Can't be helped, obviously you can't tell what's under there before you start to make a hole. A uh, bit unfortunate really, but yeah we're just in the process of putting the ridge cappings on. All the screws, three in every purlin, three, three, some odd ones as well wherever it's been required. All the way across there. And then this side of the roof is the worst side because it, it dips quite considerably over there because I think the purlins are sagging across here a little bit. But it, it is what it is, you can kind of see on this bit, it dips a bit. So these are all secured at the top most of the way along. I've got to get down that edge, which is the worst edge to put the fixings in because I could fall off. And uh, then, yeah run along all the purlins. I've got this piece of timber to lay it across and mark up where the screws are going to go and then we'll ridge cap it. I do need to extend the ridge beam on the inside here to take those edges because the, they don't reach the ridge beams until I kind of disappeared around the corner so we need to play about it on that little a little bit before we get it done and then we're just about finished with the uh, cutouts, as you can see, we've cut the little diagonal bits off, flipped them round and shoved them up into the gap to cover where it was before. One there, one there, but I don't have enough. So one of these pieces is going to have to be bodged a little bit, I'm afraid. I'm reluctant to uh, like order a one metre square piece. I think it's kind of pointless. So we'll get it done as best we can with what we've got. That bit there and that bit there as well also need a that piece there. And you can see it sat on top, should fit on that one. But this one's gonna be we're gonna struggle to find a piece for that I'm afraid. 
So, uh, yeah, we'll see how we get on with it anyway. All right, let's carry on. A little bit of broken stuff that's had to come off the roof. We're just going to bag this up and whack it in the bin. Hopefully the, the bin man won't ever notice. Well, I've got most of the roof done, and I can't remember if I got a clip of this after we put... or well, after we'd been in this morning and it had dried off. The undercoat, that is. But this is the first top coat down. As you can see, we've still worked around certain items. But I think it's not going to be a problem just, well, patching up the bits that we've missed once we can move stuff out, as I've said several times before. So that's what we will do. I think I'm probably going to run out of paint, though, because I've been quite liberal in its application simply because... I want that chemical resistance, I want that durability, and I want the longevity of this coating. If this is up in a year's time, I am literally going to be effing and blinding at resin coat because I prepped that floor extremely well, as you saw. But if it stays down for more than five years, thumbs up from me. We shall see. Anyway, I'm a little bit hot and flustered. Let me get a drink of orange. Roof's done. Ah, just two ridge caps to go on and a couple of corners. But like I said earlier, we've we've run out of sheet material. Could have done with an extra square meter. Oh well, it is what it is. We'll be able to bodge it, but it's fantastic being able to just get up there and walk around. So it's something that means it's going to be serviceable now for for a long time. Next job is the box cutter. We'll do that in the summer when we've had plenty of heat to dry it out, provided we don't have a washout this year. But as far as it goes today, I'm going to crack on and go home for four o'clock, which is a novelty. Put my feet up because I've worked up in double hard this week and crack open a beer. Friggin' right I am. All finished, boys and girls. For some reason I thought I had some of my beers at home, but I don't. So an attic will do. And a blast from the past Idle Valley Tap Glass. What do you reckon to that? Of course they don't serve beer this good anymore. In fact they're not a tap anymore. They're just a boring old boozer. Oh, would you look at that. Anyway, do you like my chicken pen and shed? Alright, innit? Ah, oh, that'll do boys and girls. Thanks for watching. I'll see you on the next one.